Baby, I'm holy. Shorty, you gon' be left with your heart broke. Your friends think I'm gorgeous, feel like an artist. Time to get sold in an all show. I pulled up the last five nights, calling my Ubers like usual, huh? Girl, get a clue, you read a room. You the next boatload of cargo, huh? Watch me. If you ended up spending so much time trying to finish this quest, here is a quick guide on how to defeat the Fullbringer clones boss battle in Peroxide. It's very simple, all you need is a proper stats like this, one after your limit break. I want you guys to go to the gym and do Kisuke to get at least 50 strength or 30 vitality. Or the other way around, like 30 strength, 50 vitality, doesn't really matter. Or you can just do both of these stats to 50-50 if you still cannot beat it. I also suggest getting a good skill card that triggers air combo right here such as Cyclone. This is actually a one of a good way to finish off clones. Now once you are set, just go to Mishubane Aura and pretty much do the quest right here. And the only thing that you need to do that not much people actually know this but you only need to survive at least 3 minutes right here to trigger your full brain now that's that's how simple this guys yes you just need to do that right here now uh yeah you don't necessarily need to kill the clones in my opinion but you just need to defeat them because if you stack them a lot you're actually gonna get infinite combo and that way that i see a lot of people dying to that one so what you want to do is just kill them fast uh and you know as fast as you can right here so that was that that's what i did just do a proper combo and also uh, some of the tricks right here is you can also block the first attack of this um you know npc it doesn't black break so just letting you guys know so yeah as you guys can see now uh in my build right now if you guys are wondering this is a 30 strength and uh, at least 55 vitality yeah i actually deal lesser damage but I, ca I can actually tank more damage from them so yeah as you guys can see now this is why you need at least 50 uh, if you cannot actually beat this, um, you know, quest right here, because I see a lot of people actually getting frustrated, you know, just keep losing this uh, quest right here. I know because you're not in the, you know, in, this, you know, actually the right build, and yeah, it, it's it just happens, you know, you, you're just gonna keep losing to this one if you cannot tank it. But yeah, there you go. I'm actually doing much more fine right now, so yep. And I'm not even that high level, so yeah, you pretty much you can get those stats, the same stats as mine, if you just limit break. Okay, there you go. So yeah, this NPC is just gonna keep um, you know spawning, and the maximum is I think three, three of them. Yeah, three of them, and if you stack them, it's just gonna, get, it kind of gets annoying if you just, you know, stack them a lot. So as you guys can see, I'm getting infinite combo right here. That's fine as long as we can kill them. There you go. Also, I forgot to mention one of the important thing is you need to get at least one evasive. I forgot to mention that. That's the most important thing right here. If you get infinite combo, use your evasives. Okay. There you go. Okay. Put an air combo. Air combo is very useful as well, guys. So, yep. Always use air combo if you must. Okay. Okay, there you go. See that? So, as you can see, we literally defeat three of them, like, every single time. And just you know one of them spawns it's very easy as long as there's only one or two you can definitely you know handle that and by the way that moveset right there can be blocked yeah that's what i said okay here we go okay they're kind of getting aggressive now that's fine because they spawn so close okay okay i'm getting infinite combo right here i think <laughs> i'm not sure if i survive this but yeah we'll see okay yeah okay that is fine we survived like almost three minutes now okay oh my god i think i'm gonna die yeah, I'm literally not hitting anyone, but as you guys can see, with 50 vitality, oh, no. we can literally tank a lot of movesets. Okay, man, that saves us. Okay, no way. Still, no way. I'm okay. I'm, I'm about to die. Okay, we killed it. There you go. Nice. As long as you kill one of them, you get health back. But oh my god, I don't, I don't think if I can do this well. Yo, I'm almost gonna die. Oh wait, wait. Oh, there you go. We got awakening. We got the full bring awakening. Here we go. Okay. Nice, bro. Nice. We got survived. Now, as you can see, you just need to survive three minutes, and that's it. That's how simple it is, guys. Look at that. So yeah, you pretty much um, you know, got the thing right here already. Did you finish it? Yeah, I think that that's it. No one's spawning anymore. And boom, there you go. So as you can see, you can see my gloves right there. We unlocked it. So yeah, look at that. That's how simple it is, guys. You just need to use the stats. Look at this. Look at my stats. 30 strength, 55 vitality. Like what I said. And if you cannot beat it with this, um, you know, uh, stats, you can also use the 50-50 stats. 50 strength, 50 vitality. Uh, yeah, you can actually use that method. It's very simple. But yeah, go ahead and share this video with your friends and let them know about it. If you enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on for more awesome videos like this. So as always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace out.